Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here doing a quick review of the new Google Camera application. You can actually grab it in the Play Store. You'll see it is right there. I believe it only works on Android 4.4 and above devices. Yes, so you must be on KitKat for this to work, unfortunately, at the moment. Luckily, mo a lot more devices are getting KitKat. So you'll see they posted it on the Play Store. There is a new updated user interface, so I wanted to show it off real quick. You'll also see there's a new camera icon right there. Load it on up and you'll see you have some icons that show up over there very uh, smoothly go away. So if I want to take a quick picture just to show that off right away, let me zoom out real quick. So here we go. If I want to go ahead and take a picture of this charging cable, I can just press this button on the side and it takes a picture. Uh, there you'll see you can also swipe from the side to view the image so you'll see you can zoom in on it. You get options to edit it as well. So you'll see you get edit. Um, share and delete so if you wanted to do any of those so back out of that you have a little button down here which is essentially a menu button you can switch to the front facing camera so there's me hey what's up everyone you can switch back and then also you have options to add a grid so if you want uh, for some reason want a grid on your camera I'm struggling looking through this camera but you'll see there's an HDR as well you can turn that on and you can turn the flash on auto um, or off or on. So you have those options as well. Now also as you noticed there was a icons that went away. So you'll see you have some icons here. You have Photosphere which can be added. For those of you that don't know they also improve the the Photosphere quality as well. They bumped up the the size that it takes so the quality should be better. It says hold the device in a fixed position hit next. Okay got it. Essentially to start keep dot inside circle so essentially what you're going to do is put it inside the circle hold it there and then you move it around and you can go ahead and uh, post it there. I will be posting some Photosphere pictures on Google Plus if you want to follow me on there. I'll link to that in the description. I'm going to discard this Photosphere so I don't have to show you through it. Again swipe through you have a panorama mode. Everyone pretty much knows what that is the uh, essentially a panorama a nice picture there a new one is lens blur which of course I wanted to show off so basically what lens blur is they they kind of uh, suggested you do it to closer items what you'll do is you'll take a picture on an item and then you'll move while keeping the item centered you raise up it says device move too fast move slower next time so I'm doing it wrong so we do it again you keep the device centered and you move it up so there we go it captured it now what it's going to do, it has to process it, so let's go ahead and look at it. You'll see processing image, and then I don't know how it's going to look without too much depth in the back, but what essentially it's going to do, it says click here to edit the lens blur image. So I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but it kind of decided to blur out the outsides of this picture. Um, so yeah, I mean it does a pretty good job. It's actually a really a pretty neat feature for closer up images. You'll have to try it out for yourself if you have a device on KitKat. It's a, it's a nice new feature to the to the camera application. They definitely use it. Obviously of course you can tap anywhere to to zoom in. I don't, there we go. So you also have of course the camera and video. My favorite part about the new camera application actually is when you go to video you'll see this little cylinder right there. You see that? It's basically Google telling you, hey, why are you trying to record video while in landscape mode? Put your phone horizontally, and then it goes away, which is great. Honestly, I'm tired of seeing videos with people holding the, the uh, phone like this, and then it uploads to YouTube or wherever they upload it with that little small screen like that. So now they're just suggesting that, hey, you can still, up, uh, you can still take videos uh, vertically if you'd like to. It just has that little suggestion, but it's just recommended that, of course, you use it right there. Again, you have this little dot here that you can go to various options if you want to switch to the front facing camera, the rear camera. Um, swipe it on over. There's a little settings button down here so you can change the settings. You can change the resolution and quality if you want. Back camera photo, you'll see mine's 15.9 megapixels. Front camera photo, 2 megapixels. Uh, you can change the, of course, resolution of the Video recording, panorama, les resolution, lens blur quality. You'll see mine was on low if I want to change it to high. It's going to take a little bit longer to process, but the quality will be better. But overall, that's about it. You can also save your location. There's advanced settings, manual exposure if you'd like to. But that's about it. I, I don't want save location on there, so I turn that off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, a nice, nice new updated uh, look to it. Of course, before, if you pressed and held on the screen, you can go up and go to various things. They got rid of that. As you can tell, um, it's very clean. You'll see they use a full screen, essentially. There's not many icons there, so if you want to go ahead and swipe over, you can go back to camera. If I want to just take a standard picture, 
I can press it and it took the picture. There you go. Uh, swipe to the right to view it, swipe to the left to get back to the camera. But overall, that's it. Just kind of wanted to show off some of the new features to let you guys know that it is now in the Play Store for devices other than Nexus devices. So there's that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Um, I haven't decided yet if it takes better quality images, if the software helps or not. It kind of depends on the device you're using it on. So. Um, maybe with your device, take some pictures, see which one you like better, if you like the stock camera application or the Google camera application, just leave a comment, let me know. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links will be in the description below, and as always, thanks for watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up.